Hello Panthers, my name is Laura Tadele and I'm one of the counselors at the Counseling Center. Today we're going to talk about uh, a strategy to create art for daily inspiration. The way that we're going to set this up, you only need perhaps something like note cards or cardstock paper that's a little bit thick. That way you can be reusing it. So when I think of inspiration that can help me improve my mood and help me build resilience, the first word that comes to my mind is nurture. So for the way that I, the way that my brain thinks and what would help me with my reminders is if it's in a landscape um, orientation, but for you, if it helps for it to be portrait and that catches your eye, that's, that's totally fine. But one of the reasons nurture stands out for me is that um, it's important for us to be doing things every day that's gonna help us um, give us what we need and so thinking about taking care of yourself the way you might take care of a friend or a loved one or you know um, a plant or a garden you know thinking about what is it that you need today um, or this week or this month to um, to help you really grow and thrive um, maybe what helps you and what you need is something active like getting out for a run. Um, maybe you need something calming and soothing like yoga. Maybe you need something restorative like um, a warm shower or bath. Um, but just taking some time uh, for your first day to think, what do I need to nurture myself, take care of myself um, so that I can really grow and thrive? The next word that I think of is present being here in the the moment in the now it's really hard for us to do particularly particularly um, in our current society we're busy we're over scheduled we're stressed but what can we do to help ourselves focus on the now so it might be um, deep breath so for me that's gonna look like I don't know what I imagine an exhale will look like um, if you do choose to use this word, what's it going to look like for you to illustrate what it means to be in the present? Uh, sometimes our brains are so focused on uh, worrying about what's going to happen next in the future or what's already happened in the past. And so one thing you can do is slow down, take a breath. Um, just to notice uh, the sensations in your body of breathing to let you focus on just what's happening this moment. The next word that I'm thinking, maybe um, you know, if you start your week on a on a Monday, then this would be your Wednesday word. Um, one word that that stands out to me is the word hope. Um, and recently, I saw hope also be an acronym. Um, that can also, not only just thinking about that things can get better in the future, but to think of it as a shorthand for hold on, pain ends. Um, this is linked to trying to be in the present. Um, you know, none of our intense feelings can last forever. Um, so if we give ourselves just a little bit of time, um, the pain can pass um, and things can change. Pain does end. Another word that brings me inspiration, and hopefully it does to you too, is the idea of curiosity. So when I think of curiosity, I think of um, rather than getting stuck on making a mistake, thinking about what can I learn from this? How can I take this mistake and uh, make it useful? Um, the other thing is, you know, maybe approaching things like an experiment. Um, the beauty of the scientific method is we don't always know, well, we never know how it's going to end up. Um, the whole point is to experiment and see where something goes. Um, and so for our life, if we're under stress or if we're really struggling, um, having a curious mind about, you know, what are the different outcomes? Um, what if it actually works out in a way that, that you want? 
what if what seems like a mistake is actually, um, you know, the way that we discovered penicillin? Um, what we thought was a failed experiment of mold turned out to be a life-saving intervention. Um, so let yourself be curious. Let yourself explore and question um, what a mistake or a problem can actually open up for you. And that concept ties closely into our next word, our fifth word. Um, so maybe if you've started on a Monday, this would be your Friday word. And that is the idea of possibility. Um, again, earlier I mentioned, what if things turn out all okay? A lot of times um, we're guided by the worry that um, what if it goes wrong? What if it goes as bad as I think it might? What if, what if nothing works out? And instead, allow yourself to consider that, that things might turn out okay. What are the possibilities? You may not know right now what your career is gonna be, but what's the possibility that it could end up being something you really love doing with your life? I'm adding a sun just because um, you know, it reminds me that whatever's happening today doesn't have to be the be all and end all and that there are further possibilities in our future. Um, what if things get better? What if things go as planned? Um, what are the different possibilities that are out there? What if you end up content? So once you're done, you can um, put them together like a flip calendar, or um, you might want to keep them um, separate so that you could put it maybe in um, a paper planner if you have one of those, stick it on your mirror perhaps, or you might have a whiteboard or a chalkboard that you use to organize your week, um, where, wherever you can put it to represent what you need it to be to help you. Now I happen to have a one hole punch um, in my possession. If you're near a three hole punch you could always just use the one hole of the three hole punch but if you don't have any of that you can always just take a pencil and poke a hole. Um, and then you know maybe you have a rubber band or something like a pipe cleaner um, to hook it all together or perhaps you just have a paper clip and you can string your daily inspiration to help you build resilience and improve your mood. Thank you for listening and joining. Please share this video if you know anyone would benefit because we want you to be well so that you can do well. Take care.